what should we do if we notice traces of blood after using the toilet? It is important for them to note down some of the, uh, the symptoms, whether the blood happens at the beginning of the urine, uh, in the middle of the urine or towards the end of the urine. Um, they should also take note whether there's any abdominal pain or any swelling in the legs and on any bubbles. So, so these are important symptoms uh, that will really help the doctor form a possible diagnosis. Right, and so how is blood in the urine treated? So the treatment depends on the underlying cause. So uh, in cases of uh, bleeding that is coming from the urinary tract, such as a stone or a cancer uh, or a benign tumour, the removal of the stone or the benign tumour or cancer will, will stop the bleeding. Uh, if this is coming from um, the, the kidney cells or what we call the glomerulonephritis, uh, sometimes if there is no protein in the urine or the kidney function is normal, the patient may not require treatment and they only have the inconvenience of uh, having blood uh, detected uh, on microscopy when they go for a urine test and, and that's perfectly all right uh, but in patients who have significant protein in the urine or if they have abnormal renal function kidney function for example uh, they may require some treatment uh, and with that treatment sometimes the blood in the urine may also disappear and so when do we actually need to see a specialist anyone who has blood in the urine should get an evaluation uh, because it is not normal to have blood inside the urine so we do want to uh, uh, evaluate these patients early and to be able to pick up these uh, underlying conditions early because uh, early treatments uh, always have a much better outcome.